I think for learning, people should learn on a demo account or a very small funded account on short term because then they can condense a whole bunch of experience and emotion into a short time continuum. Once you're trading with a reasonable amount of money and it's the, the goal is now to make money, you should stretch away from the shorter time frames um, into the more medium and longer term time frames um, for trading various patterns and strategies and show greater patience. Um, and that's also why I said establish a savings and investment strategy and prove that you have the patience before and earn the right to leverage later. Um, because if you haven't got the one in place and you haven't got the patience and you're expecting to jump to the peak of the pyramid and vertically integrate all the floors you should have built before, that peak is going to fall to the ground, you know, without the foundations already in place. Several traders use ATR as part of their sales strategy. How in practice do you actually do it? ATR being... Average two range, yeah. Um, all average true range measures is how much the price has varied during a particular time frame session. And the average will then mean it will take a certain number of periods. So if it's an hour and it's an eight hour average, the last eight hours. So it is measuring um, the impulsiveness or the volatility more accurately um, of the markets moved. So if, if your exit strategy is based on when the market becomes more uncertain, which volatility can sometimes but not always represent, I want to get out, that would be possibly how you might use an average true range as a certainty measure or a, a volatility measure. In other words, it's getting a bit scary now, there's wild swings. Bear in mind though that something that single-mindedly is just breaking up at great speed is also highly volatile, but is obviously also of high conviction in one direction. So if you're long, you don't necessarily want to be taken out. Um, so volatility where it is ebb and flow on the high range might represent a top after a bull market. It's typically what happens, the markets get volatile. And many news reporters interchange sell-offs and bear markets to the markets are volatile. What they mean is there's lots of dips and down legs. Um, the correct term means there's both up and wild swings up and down of great range, and the ATR measures that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what other indicators have people found to have the best outcome when used with ATR? I, I would only use volume and OBV on equities uh, as things that could proceed. Everything else lags on indicators.